If you have the opportunity to play this game of life you need to appreciate every moment. A lot of people don't appreciate the moment until it's past. Would you believe in what you believe in if you were the only one who believed it? I'm a human being. I've got opinions. I'm not always right. I'm not always on time. I don't always say things in the proper way, but my intentions are always extremely pure. I am God's vessel, but my greatest pain in life is that I will never be able to see myself perform live. People always tell you, be humble, be humble. When was the last time someone told you to be amazing? Be great. Be great. Be awesome. Be awesome. They say you can rap about anything except for Jesus. That means guns, sex, lies, videotapes. But if I talk about God, my record won't get played, huh? Keep your nose out the sky, keep your heart to God, and keep your face to the raising sun. Here's something that's contrary to popular belief. I actually don't like thinking. I think people think I like to think a lot. And I don't. I do not like to think at all. I refuse to accept other people's ideas of happiness for me. As if there's a one-size-fits-all standard for happiness. I'm not always going to say things the perfect way, the right way. But I'm going to say how I feel. All these walls that keep us from loving each other as one family or one race. Racism, religion, where we grew up, whatever, class, socioeconomic, what makes us be so selfish and prideful, what keeps us from wanting to help the next man. What makes us be so focused on a personal legacy as opposed to the entire legacy of a race? I am Warhol. I am the number one most impactful artist of our generation. I am Shakespeare in the flesh. For me, money is not my definition of success. Inspiring people as a definition of success. You know what should be banned. Stuff that's whack. The world is controversial. The world is classist. The world is racist. I ain't here to argue about his facial features. Or here to convert atheists into believers. I'm just trying to say the way school need teachers, the way Kathy Lee needed Regis, that's the way y'all need Jesus. You don't have to be scared of me, because I am loyal. Why are people so scared of creative ideas and so scared of truth? All I want to do is do good. I liberate minds with my music. That's more important than liberating a few people from apartheid or whatever. I'm really bad with answering questions. Usually, I don't even answer them. I try to find inspiration inside of the question. I think and I jump from one beam of inspiration or energy to the next, as opposed to explaining the energy. I hate the way they portray us in the media. If you see a black family it says they're looting, 
If you see a white family, it says they're looking for food. We're a blip in the existence of the universe, and we're constantly trying to pull each other down. Not doing things to help each other. People always say that you can't please everybody. I think that's a cop out. Why not attempt it? Cause think of all the people you will please if you try. I'll say things that are serious and put them in a joke form so people can enjoy them. We laugh to keep from crying. Man, I'm the number one living and breathing rock star. I am Axl Rose. I am Jim Morrison. I am Jimi Hendrix. I don't think people are going to talk in the future. They're going to communicate through eye contact, body language, emojis, signs. If we go on your iPhone and go to the dictionary and look up, humble, 80% of the definition is negative. It's a controlling word. It's a way to control the masses and to control the sheep. I think I do myself a disservice by comparing myself to Steve Jobs and Walt Disney and human beings that we've seen before. It should be more like Willy Wonka and welcome to my chocolate factory. People have me pinned as a shark or a predator in some way, and in no way am I that. I wouldn't want to hurt anyone. I want to defend people. I want to help people. I would hear stories about Steve Jobs and feel like he was at 100% exactly what he wanted to do. But I'm sure even a Steve Jobs has compromised. Even a Rick Owens has compromised. You know, even a Kanye West has compromised. Sometimes you don't even know when you're being compromised till after the fact, and that's what you regret. Our focus needs to be less on what our legacy is going to be or how we can control each other and more how we can give to each other. It's funny because I've made a living off of words, but words get in the way of what you really want to say. The dinosaurs aren't remembered for much more than their bones. When humanity's gone, what do we give to this little planet that we're on? And what could we do collectively, removing the pride? I didn't know the term, synesthesia, until I was working on, cruel summer. Halfway into writing that, I really understood that, my entire life. I had been trying to describe this condition of mine through painting, through this seven screen surround vision film we shot in Qatar, through all these things. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.